Hi, I'm John McCaroff, and I'm an English 11 student at Oak Bay High School. We've recently read Shakespeare's Macbeth, and in this unit we learned a lot about Shakespeare from his work, what kind of man he was, and some of his thoughts on life. I also found the scene in which Banquo's ghost visits Macbeth at the banquet one of the most interesting parts of the book. Reading Shakespeare's Macbeth has really gotten me interested in reading more of his work. Shakespeare performed plays in his favorite theater, the Globe Theater. The Globe Theater has a flag and a motto inscribed on the bottom of the flag, along with a picture of Atlas holding up the earth. The motto of the Globe is Totus Mundus Agit Histronum, or the whole world is a playhouse. This flag would be accompanied by another flag that would either be white, black, or red. A white flag meant it was a comedic play. Black flag meant it was tragedy. Red flag meant political or historical. The globe only closed three, t three years, and all times it was due to the plague. Shakespeare was one of seven children in, the fa in his family and only had three kids with his wife, Anne Hathaway, who was eight years his senior. His kids went on to have four more kids, and none of those grandchildren had any kids, so as far as we know, there are no living descendants of Shakespeare today. Shakespeare was favored by King James, and King James renamed Shakespeare's troop the King's Men, or King's Servants, because he... Shakespeare also wrote Macbeth for King James because it shows the strength and power of King James's family. The scene with Banquo visiting Macbeth in his imagination is a very interesting scene. In this scene you can see many different sides of all the characters. You see Macbeth start in a psychotic and paranoid part of the play and this leads Macbeth to visit the witches again in the to get a second prophecy. There's also some foreshadowing when Macbeth says, I'm now cabined, cribbed, confined, bound to saucy doubts and fears. This quote is foreshadowing of when the English army is actually trapping him in Act 5, Scene 7. The banquet becomes a parody of itself because the banquet is supposed to be an elegant, is supposed to be elegant, however it turns into Macbeth going berserk. Lady Macbeth attempts to calm him down with consoling words. Nonetheless, her words are slightly undercut with anger because of her husband's lack of manliness in the situation. The quote, keep the natural ruby of your cheeks when mine is blanched with fear. Here, the words ruby and blanch clearly recall the distinction that Lady Macbeth made between the red hands of murder and the white heart of a coward. This is such a complex scene. You see so many changes at the start of Macbeth's tyranny and the beginning of the flip of driving ambition in the play from Lady Macbeth to Macbeth. 